The number you have dialed has been changed. All right, Fuzz Pie Guy here. I'm going to show you how we can get Orbitron to work with uh, SDR Sharp. So we have the plugin that we need installed and set up for SDR Sharp. We have the Orbitron installed on the computer. So now we just need to make them both work with each other. One of the first things we need to do is we need to edit a file in the Orbitron config file. So to do that, we're just going to go to our C drive and go wherever you have it installed. And if we go under the config, we need to edit this guy right here. So one way to do that is we're just going to open up a Word document and run it as an administrator. So we can just go up here and go into this. And it won't show anything. We have to go over here and select all documents. And we'll just highlight it and click open. All right, so now that that's open, we're going to scroll down. And we can just hit enter there. And we can put in the following text here. Now your path is going to be different than mine. But what we need to do is we need to point to where we have SDR Sharp installed. So let me bring that up. Alright, so I have a folder here of all different uh, SDR versions. So we're just going to go under the plugin, NDDE Tracker, then that guy. So if we go up here, we can right click and copy this path. Then we can paste that right here like such. Now we need to add SDR driver so we can paste this in there also. Mine, mine's going to look like that. Now yours is going to look different but you just need to point it to the right path to this file right there. So once that's done we can go up here and we can just save it. All right, the next thing we need to do is we'll open up the uh, SDR Sharp here and we'll click on the uh, menu and we're going to click on the plugin. So once we have the uh, tracking DD plugin brought up, we're just going to click on the config file. Now we need to set this up to look like this. We have what 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 you can do is we'll put Noah in here underscore 15. Then here on the left side, you're going to just add, click on each one of these and just add it to this up here and do the same down here for this one. Then you'll just add a new satellite, rename it to Noah underscore 18 and do the same thing. So all three of these will have the same options for AOS and LOS for all three and once that is done we can close that again that is just under the config and you can just click the button to bring something over to add it in there now when you add these over here like the radio modulation type you have to put your cursor in there and add WFM and the 38,000 for each one of them. So, and like I said, just have that set up like that. Close that. Next thing we can do is we'll bring up uh, Orbitron again.
and under the rotor radio we need to change the downlink frequency to match what we actually need because these uh, frequencies don't match if we just click on the uh, NOAA 15 to start NOAA 15 is 137 six two so if we change that and click enter there we go and we change this to FM wide and we change this to SDR sharp NOAA 18 is one three seven nine one Two five wide FM SDR sharp Noah nineteen one three seven one and I'll put the frequencies on my website for this. Then we'll change this to FM wide and SDR sharp. So we could just go ahead and close that just to make sure everything takes OK. So now what we're going to do is see if this works. So we have the SDR Sharp up. We have the uh, plug-in selected. We'll turn that off. We're just going to start this. And we can launch Orbitron. And let me see. So if we click on the rotor radio, we're just going to click this little button right here. All right, there we go. Uh, I just had to close the SDR Sharp and run it as administrator. Then uh, just click back on this guy. So right now it's still showing connected, but it should update here because I disconnected it. And there we go frequencies moving all right so now that that is working with SDR sharp that part is done that's all we have to do to have both of these pieces of software to work with each other to receive NOAA satellite weather images so I'll throw a link in the description to my website for these frequencies and uh, maybe a couple of screenshots or whatnot so help you guys get this uh, up and running but uh, stay tuned for another one on that then I might consolidate all these videos into one video on how to kind of break it down make it a little easier for people so hopefully this kind of helps out uh, thanks for watching stay tuned for another one